Joining us now is a truly mad scientist. Theo Gray's new book is called Mad Science, Experiments You Can Do at Home, but probably should not. But that's not going to dem- that's not going to prevent us from doing some this morning. Theo, good morning. Morning. Good to have you here. So, what are we going to do first? Well, we're going to make ice cream. Of course, we but are. But we're not going to spend half an hour cranking one of those ice cream makers like no. you might have done in camp. No, right. we're going to do this a better way. Yeah, because we have regular ingredients. We've got milk. We have sugar. We have some vanilla. We've got all mixed right. in here together. We've right? got everything we need except the cold. We got to add cold to it. Yes. So now, there's a couple ways. A couple ways to do that. Yeah. Now, normally, I would do this with liquid nitrogen. Of course. That's my favorite way. Yeah. But sometimes you just don't have it. You know, what are you going to do? Uh, you know, you I, gotta, I have a shortage of it at my house. It's, you know, it can be a problem. So what okay. are you going to do? So we got a different way of doing it. We're uh-huh. going to improvise. We're going to use this fire extinguisher. Excellent. And uh, <laughs> this, uh, so this is not an ordinary fire extinguisher. This is what's called a CO2 fire extinguisher. It's uh-huh. the kind they, they use this in restaurants. Okay. Because it leaves no residue. Uh-huh. So like if you have a grease fire in the kitchen, right. where you spray all the food with this, spray the whole kitchen. You wait a few seconds. So you go ahead and serve it to the customers. They'll, they'll never know. <laughs> they'll never um, know. <laughs> but so, so. What, what CO2, CO2 is basically what's in soda. You know, right. it's the carbonation. It's the bubbles, it's it's the the bubbles, bubbles in, in the soda. soda. Right. But it's also, uh, when it's frozen, what's called dry ice. Okay. And when you discharge a fire extinguisher like this. You ready? It gets really cold. Go ahead. I think that should do it. All right. So what we've done is we've turned the CO2 and the fire extinguisher into dry ice. Right. On the spot. Oh, because you kind of captured it. it we captured it, right? We captured it. And so this yeah. is now all full. I'm going to put these gloves on so I don't. Because it's my hands really, off. yeah. You know, there's um, nothing worse than touching dry ice and not being able to get it off the flesh. So all we have to do now is pour it in. Oh yeah, here we go. And you go ahead and mix so and keep making, mixing. Yeah, we're mixing. This is good. This is. <laughs> It's turning into ice cream. It really is turning into ice cream. All right, now. There we go. There it is. Like you just keep mixing. Now, what you get here is you get carbonated ice cream because, of course, it's CO2, right? So mm-hmm. it's kind of like a halfway between soda pop and ice cream. Yeah. And that's not a flavor that a lot of people probably have tried. Yeah, I don't think haagen is trying to, you know, patent this in any way, shape, or form. But somewhere in there is bubbly sort of interesting ice cream. Huh? Yep. Yeah, you keep stirring and you'll have ice cream. You know, I'm not going to taste it. It's, it's, it won't kill you, <laughs> you know? It looks good, though. It looks kind of You frozen. know, if I stored, yeah. stirred it a little harder, I think I we, we, might, we might have put a little too much of the dry ice in there. Okay, what's the next one? This is fun. So, next one is, uh, we're going to show you why there are different kinds of fire extinguishers. Okay. So, um, this one is good on grease fires, right. you know, electrical fires. Mm-hmm. There's other kinds where, like, if you throw water at a grease fire, bad, bad. It's, you're gonna, you're gonna. It just spreads the fire all everywhere. over the place. It just makes yeah. a mess. Yeah. So this is dry ice, mm-hmm. the same material as is in that fire extinguisher. Right. And we're gonna show you why you should not use that on a metal fire. Okay. So what we've got is we've got magnesium shavings mm-hmm. that inside are inside the dry inside ice. The dry ice. Right. And magnesium, as you may know, burns, yeah. but it burns a lot better yes. if you put it in dry ice. Okay. So we're going to put these shields on. Okay. You, you, might, want, you might want to go stand in the corner there. Okay. All right. I might want to take these flammable gloves away. Yeah. And here we go. And will this, <laughs> will this fire extinguisher work on that? Uh, no, because oh. that's the same stuff. Oh, that's not good. So if this... Um, if, <laughs> if this really turns into a problem, what should we do? Um, wait. Pretty much. Uh, you think it'll burn me- itself metal, out? Metal metal fires will burn themselves out, and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. Yeah. You just just get the heck out of there. You want to get out of there. Yeah. Very nice. All right. Good. You know what? In my all these years of doing morning television, I've never gotten the chance to wear one of these. And Glad to provide you with the opportunity. Thank you so much, Theo. Thank you. Very cool stuff. There's the book, ladies and gentlemen. Experiments you can do at home, but probably should not. To read an excerpt from Mad Science, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.